Hey guys, I'm back again. We're going to start doing a little Christmas gifts. Don't you think that is so cute? I picked these little packages up. Let me hold these up. These little boxes. They were actually Halloween treat boxes. I won't show you the name of them. That I got for like a quarter for six of them. I think that was a real good deal. But I'm going to use them as Christmas presents. This one is going to be for a man. And because it's kind of African, supposedly kente cloth type inspired thing, that really caught my eye. And uh, we're going to do today a man's beard oil or face conditioner. You can put it on the eyebrows. You can put it on the hair. But my son has mainly been using it for his beard because he started having little problems with breaking out and things like that. So I made him his own beard oil that he's been using. But I think that the ones that I'm going to give away, let me show you the little box. You saw the one that I'm going to put the bow on. But uh, there... There it is, the little apothecary balls I always buy, and also the little beard scrubbers. But we're going to focus on my little pride and joy. I, it took me forever to get him to come on camera, but uh, this is my son, Drew, and we're going to do his little beards. All right. Most men, if they're having any type of problems, we'll stay on Drew. If they're having any type of problems with their beard, you don't really want to be putting synthetic conditioners or things like that that are not organic. If you can help it, if you can help it. But for my group, I prefer that they have organic things if possible. So we all, I'll, I make him the little oils. It doesn't take but a drop or two uh, in the mornings or even in the evenings. Get it nice and hot in the hands. You could do the whole face. You could start with the hair and work your way down. Put it on the beard. Rub it in really, really well. How do you, how do you like that smell? It smells lovely. It smells lovely. He is so funny. Rub it in real good. Now you can leave it like that while you're brushing your teeth and before you get in the shower and things like that. Or if you're just doing it and you're getting ready to wash your face. Let it soak in a bit. Get a really hot towel. Now this is hot. And put it on the beard and let that soak in. Because some people don't like to put oil on their face. Some people do, some people don't. But since, like I said, conditioners are nothing but oil and water, you can wash this off and it still conditions the beard. You can heat it up really nice and hot and get your little beard brush, especially if you're in the shower and you're going to clean it. And that way you can kind of uh, give it a nice conditioning massage, nice conditioning scrub, get it looking all pretty and handsome. Or like I said, you could just do the hot rag. But I'm going to show you how to make this oil. This is something that we've used now for about six months. And it has really helped to clear those bumps up and clear his skin up really nicely. And we appreciate you, Drew, for being our model today. <laughs> but we're going to pause for a second. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to make this. Okay, guys. Right, we got our little model going because he would only sit just a few seconds. But I'm going to show you how to make a really easy Christmas gift for a man. Let me show you at the end. It's going to look like that. even has a little window. You can put various things in there. In this case, I'm just putting the beard oil and the little beard massager. You can also use that for your scalp. But I like these. These are mainly used, I think, for treat boxes. You can put muffins or cookies or what have you. But I thought it would be a good idea to put little things for men and women. So we're going to go down to the table. This oil is really simple. You do not have to use the exact things that I use. Use what you have, use what you like, use what smells. A lot of the things that I'm putting in here have specific reasons. Here are my apothecary bottles, by the way. These are the two ounce. I got all these at Walgreens. If you have a compounding pharmacy in your neighborhood, instead of paying for shipping, which I did not want to do, I got these bottles for $1.75 at the local Walgreens, not Walmart, Walgreens, and they were $1.75 each. And the little bitty ones, which are the one ounce, this one is full of oil already, I paid a dollar for that. So I got all my bottles, got all my boxes, so I'm ready to go. Uh, for our carrier oil, we're going to do jojoba oil. We'll stay down on the table, baby. And we're trying to get it as close to two ounces as possible so that there is a full bottle. In this case, we're going to put a tablespoon of the jojoba oil. And hopefully I won't make too much noise because I'm known for making all that noise. We're going to put a tablespoon of almond oil. Let's try not to spill it everywhere. This is our infused peppermint oil. And if little bits of peppermint end up in the mix, so be it. So beautiful and green and smells so good too. We're going to put the peppermint oil. And see we did not want to double dip into that so we had a separate spoon. 
we're going to put eucalyptus oil. This is my eucalyptus oil. I have a large bottle of it, so I always put it in the small bottle because some of the things I want them to predominate. Uh, about a teaspoon of the eucalyptus oil. We're going to put bergamot oil. Let's stay on the table, baby. Bergamot oil. That's about 10 drops of that. We're going to put orange oil. I absolutely adore orange oil. The smell is just absolutely fabulous. That's about five. Like I said, use the drops that you want to use or the smells that you want to use. Grapefruit seed oil, one of the best preservatives and also so good at antiseptic. We put about five of that. Thyme oil. To me, this is a very masculine smell. Since this is something that we're making for a man's beard, we're wanting this to smell more masculine. Things that we do for women, we could change. I have used this myself and thought it was an excellent smell because, as you know, your body chemistry is going to change the smell a little bit. This rosemary oil drives me crazy. I think that's about five drops. And cedar, one of my, oh, man, I love that cedar wood oil. We're going to put some of that. I think that's about six drops of that. We're going to put vitamin E oil. This is 32,000 I use of vitamin E. Since this has no water, it's going to have a shelf life of at least a year. It's going to hopefully be used up by then. Alrighty. We'll put a little vitamin E. And we're going to fill it up with the rest of our carrier oil, but I wanted to get those measurements done first. And this is a uh, garlic oil now you can infuse garlic oil yourself and I do that sometimes but when I'm making large batches of things that I don't have time which I don't I will go ahead and go to the store and buy things a lot of people take garlic oil every day good for the heart good for the cholesterol really good for the body in this case for each two ounce bottle I try to put at least one garlic peel if you put more than that the smell of the garlic is going to overwhelm there we go. We got our one little garlic peel in there. Give that a good stir. See if the smell is to your liking. If you have too much of one and not enough of another. All right, that is smelling good. We're going to put up to the two ounce line, which is about right there. We're going to put a little bit more jojoba oil. So that's two tablespoons of jojoba. And I'm watching my measurements. And two tablespoons of almond. And I'll have to get another spoon. That's why I always say use what you have. And most of the things that I make are not exact. One little lady said she thought that I should have done a better job of being exact about things. But it's not that kind of channel, darling. We're almost to two ounce. And there we go. Let me take the spoons out because I'm going to put this in another jar and pour it into the container. Let me get all the oil I can off these spoons because some of these oils, although they're not expensive to me, they're kind of on the precious side like the jojoba oil. Make sure we get all that garlic oil off of there too because that's kind of on the thick side and the Vitamin E oil is kind of on the thick side. Give it a good stir. Okay, that's the smell I'm going for. I'm going to pour this. I have other jars, but I am too lazy to look for them, and I have a lot I have to do today. We have our oil ready. Get our bottle ready. These bottles, one of the things that I really, really absolutely love about them is the fact that they have, just stay up, darling is the fact that they have droppers already in them. So if you're wanting to get a little bit of your oil, if you want one or two drops to use for your beard or your hair or your eyebrows or even your face, there you go. You're not trying to guess or pour it all out. So we'll go ahead and fill our jar up. Or I should say bottle. And we should be exact. And you can kind of tweak the smell a little bit at the end if you think you need a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that. 
And we could have put a few more drops of this in that, but that's perfect because remember that the dropper is also going to displace a little bit. Good shake, really good shake. Have your little box ready. Put all your things in your container. This one I do not have the beard brush in yet, so I'll have to get some more of those out of my storage. And that's a quick and easy way. Of course, I'm going to list some of the properties of why I use oils, and I had to write this down because some of the stuff, it all gets jumbled in this head, and this hair under here, you just don't want to see it. The jojoba and almond is to soften. Also, the jojoba helps to extend the life of the oils. The rosemary is astringent, anti-inflammatory, and helps to stimulate the dermal layer. The vitamin E, of course, is preservative. The garlic is superb antiseptic, especially with black males or African-American males. If you bump up when you shave, my sons have a lot of problems with that. So that has really helped to get rid of all those inflammatory processes that are going on. The eucalyptus helps to promote uh, cell regeneration. Uh, the peppermint is really good anti-itch, really good cooling. I didn't put any grapefruit. I did last time. And uh, the rest of them I'll try to remember. But I hope you guys think that this is a really good idea for a male for Christmas. I think anybody getting this would be pretty happy. I know my son is always like, can you make me something? You make everything for everybody else. But happy Christmas. The holidays are coming. So let's get started. Bye-bye, guys.